So I was in Miami for four days and apparently there's a lot that I missed out on and a lot of you have been tagging me because there's are there are a lot of beefs going down in the community right now. Japan is not happy. First of all, let's go for two likes on the video for two genders. Uh, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, everybody, because we have a, a fight, a UFC level fight ongoing in the community. I got a video that I want to share with you guys. I don't think you're ready for it. Put your seat belts on because once you see it, you're not you're not ready for it simply put okay but first of all i want to talk about this right because this conversation has been ongoing for several weeks right uh some people are cool with a bbc samurai in the game other people not so much people have been like fighting with the the history that he was a retainer some say that he was a real samurai yeah sure like some people wanted some people didn't a lot of people are saying it's a game set in japan so therefore you know uh, we we need a japanese protagonist right but ubisoft is like okay ubisoft turns Around. they're like hey don't care didn't ask we're gonna turn that boy gay so they made him gay and as he's walking around of course the Japanese are bowing down to him and he's like slicing all of them while a hip-hop beat is playing in the background <laughs> but we're talking listen I love hip-hop okay I love Eminem okay 50 cent crooked ass of uh, the entirety of the slaughterhouse they used to be very very big back in the days i even like effed with joe button music as well i, I know he has like some beefs which i'm not super familiar with but crooked eye roast the five nine right uh, i'm a massive hip-hop fan right like I, I love these old school guys uh listening to their music so it it's like yeah but the japanese homies are like hey yo what like you slicing us down like that and and our homies are buying down to you while hip-hop beat is uh, playing in the background while this game is set in feudal Japan needless to say the Japanese homies had enough and today I want to show you what went down guys and we're gonna start off with the homeboy I think he had a perfect reaction after that I want to dive into the hypnotic video roll it Protector, wait for it persecutor greed cannot rule this village not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head <laughs> Assassin's Creed Shadows Ubisoft uh oh, so no, not this, team. not this, not this, not yeah, this. Is that? Yeah, 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 Is that? No, I can't be. Nah, sweet baby ink, though. It is. Huh. Bro, I forgot. One sec, let me actually put the hair. Bro, I forgot. Sweet baby founder is a former Ubisoft employee. It's her, Lamal. Oh my god. <laughs> Of course, of course it is. Of course it is, bro. We need gamers That's united on this crazy. one. It is crazy. Um, bro. If you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them huh. with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Yeah. And then you got Black... I I'm probably gonna make a video on it. Black Myth Wukong, they refuse the seven million dollars by Sweet Baby Inc. David the Gamers, English, English mother trigger. The reason why the team behind Black Myth Wukong has been subjected to persistent sexist attacks and slander since their first promotional video is because they have consistently... Click show more. I don't think you need to know more because they apparently rejected the Sweet Baby Inc kiss of death and they have been accused right like they're trying so hard for them to actually get that sweet baby kiss of death but they're like nah bro we just want to make games no politics w for them like the video for them ladies yes. and gentlemen we're talking about Check a this. grown ass adult who is an executive producer on a triple a game called assassin's creed shadows who apparently had to use an app on his phone in order to find his feelings and calm down from being a uh, context apparently elon musk also called out this forced dei stuff the woke nonsense that's going down in gaming Right, so he talked about it, and then the Ubisoft executive producer had a meltdown on Twitter. Completely overwhelmed with negativity regarding the game. I mean, how soft do you have to be in order for this to even be a thing? I don't even know. I can't even imagine living my life being this soft, but apparently there are people that are. So let's get into this video, guys. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that okay. YouTube algorithm. Okay. So it says, yeah, this like and subscribe, guys. Like and 
can subscribe. Like and subscribe. This is why we don't have Rockstar game devs anymore. Yeah. Making a great game takes balls. It's oh, I really hope, bro. GTA 6, bro. That's the only game, bro. Please, please <laughs> leave GTA 6 alone. I made it 10 plus years for that game. I made it 10 plus years for that game, okay? Do not make Jason <laughs> a simp, bruh. This thing is gonna make Jason into a simp. And more so than that, I'm afraid that they're gonna make him into a strong, independent. Mm -mm. Men are always wrong. My guy, you're a man as well, bro. Please, for the love of God, don't make Jason into a simp. Don't make him a strong independent. <laughs> I want Lucia to be a strong feminine character. Feminine character, guys, not feminist here. Uh, there's a difference with that, okay? But with it's hard. It's really hard, especially when trying to do something new or passionate. That's why you don't see it in AAA anymore. Plus, especially when trying to do something new or passionate. That's why you don't see it in AAA anymore. Plug no dollars in, plug nine to five devs in, rotate crank, spit out sequel. Now, that's essentially what's happening with a lot of different franchises, a lot of different different uh business adventures it's not just gaming this is how it's yeah. happening for a lot of different things you have people that are really not doing things out of passion anymore like nobody's yeah. doing anything yeah. for the love of it anymore very yeah. few and far between is that happening and the ones that are doing it, that it, it really it really feels like that the soul has been lost uh seriously for the last how many years we're seeing this i would say easily five plus but now it's more so than uh what it was five years ago right and of course like the japanese homies uh who care for the culture uh, uh yeah i mean respect bro like you care for your culture like why you care for your culture oh you don't say right uh, yeah respect like bro the, it's their culture they have the right to criticize it and they're saying no to this bull squash a and yeah i'm not a history buff so i don't know whether he was a retainer i don't know whether he was a samurai i don't know whether he existed or not a lot of people say he existed okay fair a and some people having very fair uh, arguments as well that okay you know what like okay have yesuke in the game as a dlc or you know what have yesuke as a character in the game but for the love of god do not destroy their culture like the way you are destroying like he's a walking tank He's a walking tank. First of all, he, they, they are putting him in feudal Japan. It's a game set in Japan, so have a Japanese protagonist. They have a female Japanese protagonist. I Yeah, okay, there, there's a reason why they chose a female Japanese protagonist and not a male protagonist. Yeah, go figure. Because men are always wrong, right? So there is that aspect to it. They make her LGTV as well. They make the BBC Samurai gay LGTV as well. Go figure! Go figure, there's a reason why they're doing it. And he's like slicing down the Asians left and right. Uh, and, and, and there's hip hop music playing in the background in feudal Japan. In feudal Japan, I'm not a history buff, but like for the love of God, bruh. For the love of God, I, I could be wrong, but I think hip hop music didn't exist back then, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what, what the hell are we doing, bro? What the hell is going on in this one? And, and yeah, the Japanese homies in the game are bowing down to him. And the Japanese homies in real life, they're like, hey, yo, what? Like, yo, yo, what? You slicing down our homeboys? And then we're bowing down to you. There's hip hop. It's like complete disrespect of the culture. And I'm a brown guy. I'm South Asian. Uh, I'm a South Asian. I'm Pakistani. Uh, I, I, I gave this example before. I'll, I'll say it again. That if this game is set in Japan and if they added a Pakistani dude, of course, bro. Like, I would be mad. Japan would be mad. Understandably, bro. A absolutely. Because there's no place. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? Unless uh, it's a different setting. Unless it's a different game. Then you can do whatever you want. But you're talking about feudal, J feudal Japan. And yeah, the Japanese culture. You're destroying the Japanese culture. Uh, as uh, it It's insane. It is insane that we're even having a conversation. So Elon must respond on it executive producer having a meltdown he talks about deleting his uh twitter as well i and, think uh out of passion you're gonna notice it in their work and you can uh you can bet your ass off that their work is going to be successful because they have passion behind it now in this scenario the fact that you are weak enough to have elon musk make you completely lose your mind is ridiculous there's yeah. an article headline here from pc gamer it says assassin's creed shadows executive producer says elon musk is just feeding hatred with his reaction to the game's black protagonist musk claims that the use of historical figure was part of an initiative that kills art now is he wrong? 
That's, that's the funny thing. Is Elon Musk wrong about DEI? Absolutely not. Elon Musk is not wrong about DEI. It doesn't matter if he's a billionaire. He could be the poorest man on the planet, but he's able to see what's right in front of him. You guys want to sit there and pretend as if you are being so subversive with your DEI, that you're being so naturally, organically diverse, that nobody is able to catch on to it because it's happening naturally. It's not happening yeah. forced. You know what I mean? Shout out to Alyssa Mercante and that amazing lie that she told. But the funny thing is, it's not. Like, it's no. not. You're not being subversive at all. We can clearly see what you are doing from a mile yeah. away. It yeah. is forced. It is inorganic. It is garbage. It is superficial. Yeah. It is the laziest form of representation Absolutely. that could Absolutely. possibly be out there. And yet you want to pretend yeah, as if it's you, the greatest thing ever. And then you get a... Those of you that see it, you see through it. You, you see through when it. Nobody buys your bullshit. Well, the funny thing is, we're not going to buy your bullshit because it is yeah. exactly just that. Bullshit. It says that tweet generated emotions that the first thing I wanted to do was go back on X that I had deleted and just tweet back. He explained Bruh. and I just took a step back. I had Bruh. a mindfulness app on my phone. Oh, my God. Bruh. This is just so cringy. I don't know how people can literally live like this. Uh, this man, if, if you throw this man in retail, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be able to last for two minutes, bro. Like, holy crap. What, what we doing here, dog? What we doing here? Of course. Oh, man, this is this is sad. This is truly sad. We're living in some of the most sensitive times ever. Yeah, like it's insane, bro. You are destroying the Japanese culture right now. You are forcing crap down your players' throats, okay? So of course, of course, bro. Like people gonna talk back. People gonna talk back, and people are saying we don't want this crap. We don't want this crap. And if you think that is harassment, then okay, bro. Like what? What the hell? You think this is harassment? People are just telling you that they don't want this crap. They're sick and tired of it, right? And especially the Japanese homies, they're like, bro, like, what? Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're destroying our culture. And, and that, of course, like, I, I might be the only one. I, I cannot be the only one that thinks that. Dog, like, you are associate, associating hip-hop music with the black homies. That's super racist. That is super racist. It's like they added a black homie in the game, okay? And then you, as soon as he walks in, you know, crazy. Like, hip-hop music start blasting. Like, bruh. Like, what, what we doing here, bro? What we doing here, man? That, I would like to believe that is super racist. Because you are literally targeting. You're literally assuming. You are biased. You are assuming that hip-hop... Yeah! Yeah! And I did a bit of... Oh, of course, like, not. But, but still, the, the way they are... If they are going to play the game like that, we got to play the game like that, too, guys. Mindfulness to try and explore the emotions that this tweet created. There is no, I, I just can't, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe that there's people out there in that high of a position that are actually that soft, that you got so mad at Elon Oof. Musk's tweet that you deleted X, which we all know you reinstalled later Dang. on. Don't get me wrong. Like you might have deleted it. You might have deleted it at that time, but I guarantee you reinstalled that shit very quickly because you can't live without it. Let's be real. Um, but the funny thing is, then you say you have a mindfulness app. I don't know what the fuck a mindfulness app is, but okay, I guess. Uh, and apparently you are so weak that you had to rely on a mindfulness app in order for you to calm down. It's the weirdest thing. On May 20th, they exist. I didn't even know mindfulness app, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, first time hearing that. What's what's the ma uh, what's the app name? Anybody anybody know? Anybody can a brown man perhaps get to know what's the name of that mindfulness app? I, I wanna know, like you know, for research purposes, you know. I wanna also download that because you guys are putting me through all this crap. You know, games comes out incomplete, messy, buggy. Okay, filled with microtransactions, filled with the woke crap force DEI, destroying culture. Th this this is a symbol of destroying the culture, okay? Man walks around, just slabs everything. He's a walking tank, like what the hell we doing here? And these little Asians ain't got no chance. I'm, I'm sorry, these little Asians ain't got no chance, bro. Like, insane, bro. Fourth, Elon Musk uh, decided to throw his opinion into the mess, replying to a tweet about the game with DEI kills art. It does. It does. DEI kills art. DEI kills creativity. DEI kills literally everything that could possibly happen organically when you get a group of people to get together and try to make something. Uh, DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion and is a policy that organizations can use to promote equal treatment and involvement of all people, especially people who are usually underrepresented. It wasn't exactly a nuanced take. That tweet... Uh, now, uh, on paper, it does sound good. 
uh, wait for it. I'm going somewhere with this one, guys. Uh, no, on paper, it does sound good. And I'm also in favor of a equal treatment uh, of all human beings, right? Like, generally speaking, right? Like, everybody deserve... Uh, uh, everybody should deserve equal rights. Oh, absolutely, right? Like... Uh, but see the thing with the DEI in video games and in uh, generally speaking right now is that they include they forcefully include one group and, and that and in return that excludes everybody else it, it excludes everyone else they're all about hey inclusivity inclusivity but they're super racist okay they are in this aspect they're super racist towards Asian people oh absolutely they are absolutely they are otherwise they wouldn't have done what they have done with this game right and they're excluding all of us as well absolutely for what for what reason yeah i i absolutely am in the favor of hey if somebody's talented doesn't matter like whether it's white brown purple uh lgtv non-lgtv straight by whatever bro i don't even care religious not religious right if a person is talented and good for the job yeah hire them hire them simple as that simple as that if they're not, then don't hire them. Simple as that. Why create problems out of thin air? Well, yeah, right? Like, what, what, what is going on? And they are only hiring people that would parrot what their, their own ideas. They just want me, 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 me. They just want to hear. They want reflection of themselves, essentially. That's truly what they want generated emotions that the first thing i wanted to do was go back on x and had to delete it and just tweet back said cody for me elon is sad he's just feeding hatred i had a lot of three word replies that came to mind but he didn't reply to musk by attacking someone like elon i will not convince people that our partner are that about our point of view as a team well guess what you're not convincing people about your point of view even if you don't attack them that's the funny thing people do not believe what you are selling that's the thing you are selling yeah. something dei is a product right dei is not if it was natural and organic it wouldn't have to be sold let's put it to you like that so the fact that you Absolutely. have to sell someone on the idea of dei tells me that it's a product okay and you're yeah. trying to sell it and nobody is buying it nobody is buying your bullshit nobody's believing what dei supposedly stands for because we've seen so many examples of you guys being so unbelievably racist with your dei yeah that it clearly is coming from a place of racism it's not coming from a place of virtue you are trying to sell virtue and you cannot sell virtue you're either virtuous or you're not and you are not virtuous people you've proven that time and time again yeah. your idea of dei is something like this right I put this mm. in my last video with Assassin's Creed when we were reacting to the gameplay video and the fact that they had hip hop music yeah. oh, <laughs> in feudal are. Japan because the main character <laughs> is a black man and you can't have a black man without hippity hop. You catch my drift? So apparently yeah. these people uh, that, that are trying racist. to sell you DEI as being something that's virtuous and something that they have to uh, they have to do because it's just the right thing. It's the right thing. These are the kind of people that sell you DEI. They make the same character over and over and over again right they're making yeah no diversity like they're all about diversity but there is literally no diversity they exclude everyone else they exclude i i thought this was about like including everyone right and including everyone i'm all up for that but bro, like come on there's a time and place there's a setting there is yeah like japanese game oh absolutely if they had a japanese protagonist it does fall into DEI, but the good kind of DEI, right? The one that makes sense, the one that is normal, the one that is good. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Asians are also underrepresented. Absolutely, they are. So if you're having a game set in Japan and you're having a Japanese protagonist, oh, it is amazing. We want that. People want to play it. People love different culture. Of course, there uh, there are people that are racist as well. I'm not yeah like i don't want to play uh in that aspect that there aren't uh, and there are a lot of people that would uh use this opportunity to be racist absolutely but um no nah, i shouldn't say a lot of people very few very few but generally speaking generally speaking people love different cultures people want to learn about different cultures and japanese uh, Jap japanese culture is one of them that people want to learn and a lot of people know about it people respect it inside of japan outside of japan and you're literally destroying that so yeah i mean go figure why people are mad go figure why people are talking i mean elon musk is talking 
that that's insane that is insane every single black character have the modernity fade this is what i call the modernity fade okay because that's what it's evolved into this hairstyle first was called the killmonger hairstyle but i'm calling it the modernity fade because that's really what it is it is a hairstyle that is used by the modern audience this is a hairstyle that's used by every single white leftist that makes black characters in video games behind yeah. dei and tries to claim representation but they all look the same they're fantastical versions of their perfect view on black people in their mind this is how they view black people this is how they design them yeah. and this is how it's always going to be so when i see posts like this from uh you know from uh people like at uh, ubisoft and you're trying to convince people about dei yeah i'm not buying it i'm not buying it at all dei does kill art dei does kill creativity because yeah, with dei you get the same shit over and over and over again but without dei you're able to actually be diverse have diversity of thought which is the most important mm. thing mind you and that's what you're all really missing all of you think the same all of yeah, you yeah absolutely something that i say all the time they believe in multiple genders which okay fair uh you believe in five thousand genders all right fair yeah fair like you believe into that yeah whatever right but you don't believe in two different opinions you cannot believe in two different opinions guys check out this video on the screen because this recently went down as well and it was an absolute absolute and insane story if you have already seen it then check out the video on the left because we got some gameplay stuff going down for the next call of duty game as well right check it out and i'll see you right there